What is going on guys, Greg Oles TV. I'm gonna show you a really cool little trick if you have an unlocked Galaxy phone. Now this might work on other Android phones as well, but I know it definitely works with Galaxy phones. And I have two Galaxy phones here, I have the S20 Ultra and the S20. And the trick I'm gonna show you involves having to have to have two different carriers. And before we jump into it more, where I show you the, the little trick, a quick little word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Sinex by Wondershare. Sinex allows you to quickly and securely sign your business documents anytime, anywhere. Sinex provides a simple and easy way to get legal electronic signatures for any document that needs to be signed. Sending a document to multiple people with Sinex is as easy as clicking the bulk send button, choosing the document you want to send, creating a secure code, entering the email addresses one at a time, and then clicking send. Or maybe you wanna save time by creating or using saved templates. To do that, click templates at the top, then click either use template or create template. It's that easy. To learn more about Sinex by Wondershare, see the links in the description down below. Thanks for Sinex for sponsoring this video. So the way this works is this S20, which is on a Verizon prepaid carrier, AKA Verizon, has already received the latest upgrade. And that's the, for instance, this is the ATCT update, but this could be for any update they put out in the future for an unlocked phone. But my AT&T unlocked variant has not received it. Now this won't work with carrier editions of the phones. It's only gonna work with unlocked versions of this phone. So what we need to do is we need to pop the SIM card out of this phone and this phone. But before we pop it out of this phone, I just wanna show you something real quick. I'm gonna go into settings. I'm gonna go into software updates. I'm gonna hit download and install just to show you that I haven't received this update yet on at and so there you go. I haven't received it at all at this point, so I'm going to hit, and also I'm on this, uh, the security patch, uh, March 1st, 2020, if I go into my S20 phone, and I go to download and install. This one has already gotten the update, but just to show you, you'll see that it's on April 1st, 2020, just to show you that they're on different software versions. So what I'm gonna do now is put this AT&T SIM card off to the side next to my S20. I'm not gonna put it in the regular S20. And I'm gonna take the Verizon SIM card and put it into my S20 Ultra. And when I do that, you're gonna notice something immediately. It's gonna ask me, it's gonna say your device will restart to configure features supported by the new SIM card. So what I wanna do now at this point is I wanna restart this phone, so I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna automatically restart that phone. All right, phone is booting up right as we speak at this point. And I'll let it finish up. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna check for an update now with that new Verizon SIM card in here. Now it doesn't have to be a Verizon SIM card, it just needs to be a SIM card from a phone, an unlocked phone, I guess, that has already received the latest update that your phone didn't because you know your carrier hasn't pushed it out to that unlocked version. So we're gonna go into software updates and hit download and install. All right, now it's checking for updates. And there you go, it automatically downloads the update. It's a cool little trick and I'll show you once this goes through, I'll put everything back in. So let's let this finish the update first. And you can see right here while the update's still going, it's gonna push me to April 1st, 2020. Okay, and we'll let it install now. Okay, so at this point, the update is completely done. I'll show you real quick. I'll show you if we go into software update, download and install. It'll eventually check, but what's cool about it is that when we go in here, there you go, April 1st, 2020, latest and greatest update. So what I'm gonna do is take the SIM card out now and put my original SIM card back in, which is the AT&T one. And I'll show you that everything still works. There's nothing wrong with it. It's gonna ask me to restart the phone in a second here. Once it switches over to the new network, there it goes, I'm gonna hit okay. And I'll put my other SIM card back in my other S20. All right guys, all booted back up. I'll send a text message. And I'll send a quick 
text message to a friend, just to show you it goes through. Here you go, it says sent through there. And I'm gonna call Benihana real quick just to show you phone calls still work and all that stuff works, even though I switched over. Thank you for calling Benihana. And I turned off Wi-Fi and I'm using data right now. And I'll just load up a website. And there you go, everything works completely fine. No issues with loading up websites, making phone calls, sending text messages, any of that stuff. Everything works completely fine, even though I switched the SIM card. So the way it works, if you didn't realize it, you need an unlocked phone and you need to grab a SIM card from another carrier that has already received the update. So AT&T unlocked phones haven't received the update, but the Verizon versions of the unlocked Galaxy phones did. So I just switched it over. That's the way it has to work. It has to be an, a, a SIM card from another carrier where the unlocked phones got it and then the other ones didn't. And then that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully that helped you out. A little, you know, if you have a friend or you have another uh, phone that's on a different carrier and it's gotten the update, that's a way to do it and force it. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.